everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. Jim just told me, <laughs> you're late. And I says, late for what? And he said, oh, I'm from Western New York, yes. I forgot <laughs> to tell you that. Um, today I've got a couple videos to put in, but it'll be all in one. And it's about eggs. So let's just go to that video. Jim was busy with his scroll saw again, and he made me this Easter egg. And he says, and he's going to put it on this platform like that. And he says, well, get your pencils out and color it if you want. So I think I'm going to try it. This is what it looks like before it's colored. I guess we should move the glue. Before it's colored, this is for another one that he's making. I actually erased the blue because it was coming too dark and I didn't want it that dark. So I erased it and did it a little bit more. But the blue is the hardest because it's solid. I don't like doing solid things. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little more purple here. Just a little bit more. So it shows up a little better there. Combination effort on this yeah, it's pretty, project. Pretty I'm going to leave the other side plain. Just this side could be colored, so if you don't want it colored, you can flip it over and you've got the other side looks like just plain old wood. Yep. There we go. How's that look? Looks good. So when you put it on your, I don't know which stand you're going to use. That one. You can put it on there and have it like that. Or you can turn it and it can be like that. Actually, the colored pie side is pretty. Mm-hmm. It's That's really pretty. Very pretty. There you you go. did very, very, very I did a good nice job. job. Yep. Okay, job. You it's, it's showing the lines of the wood a little more if I go this way. Mm. You'll get more of the detail of the wood. And more of the grain. Yep. The edges. This this is a harder one I think to do. I don't like doing solid. My Easter. I should color the eggs. I still should do that. Color. Try to color brown eggs. I mm -hmm. haven't done that yet. And the green eggs, or blue eggs, whatever color I have. And some of the lighter of the brown. Maybe I'll try that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yep. If there were kids in the house, it would make it a lot more fun. Yeah, but that would. there aren't any kids in the house. And I don't think anybody's coming. Mm, probably not. Just us two big kids. Yeah. I'm a big kid now, as the song would say. There we go. I guess that's good enough. There you are. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you, kindly. Just like you. Yeah, thanks, kindly. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I've got six glasses of water. I'm going to put a tablet of color in there, and I'm going to try and color the eggs. It says to just drop the color into the water, and when it dissolves, you add two tablespoons of vinegar. Whoops, it's got two colors in that one. I don't want to do that. Oh, no, I don't want to make purple. Whoa. I won't put you over there. That was an accident for sure. And they say cover your table with something, so I opened up a paper bag. Well, they are all dissolved. Now I have to add my vinegar. Two tablespoons of vinegar to each of the cups. I added two tablespoons of white vinegar to each cup. Boiled different colored eggs. Peel. They will peel very good. This is a pretty dark one. I'll put a, put a dark one in, what color would you like to be? Green? We'll put the dark one in green. Whoa, just put it in green. We'll put a blue one in a blue. Put another blue one in a blue. We'll put a brown one in a yellow. We'll put a green one and a red, Let's see what we get. Put a green one and an orange. 
What color do I have left? Oh, I've got two left, but I don't have any more. You girls, you two will have to wait. They're turning out pretty, I think. And I think I'll make another two blues. I'll put a brown one in a blue and a brown one in a, the other blue. Let them sit. They look pretty good, I'd say. So if you have brown eggs and want to color them, you can still color them. If you have blue eggs, you can color them. They look adorable. These turned out really good, Jim. You can't hear me, probably. They all colored so nice. Look at this. I did green eggs and I did brown eggs. And even the dark brown, the dark, dark brown one, was one of these. I don't know which one. <laughs> probably this one, I think it was. They're so pretty. Did I take the green one out? No, I didn't. Nope. I forgot the green one. Oh, maybe that was the dark, dark brown one. I forgot him. Ooh. And there's the eggs. Look how beautiful they turned out. Well, I've got colored eggs to put with no chocolate. I don't have any chocolate. I have to go buy some. Yep. I don't know. I was talking to somebody, oh. and they were saying that they were looking for white eggs because they thought they had to color eggs and they needed white eggs. Well, did I... I colored brown eggs and green eggs today, and boy, they look really good. Better than any eggs that I've ever done. The only thing is I'm not sure is because they are so fresh, I don't know how they're going to peel because I didn't put a little air hole in the air in the end like I usually do because I didn't want any dye to go into the egg itself, and I didn't know if it would or not. So we're going to find that out when I peel them, but I'm not peeling it yet. But aren't they pretty? They are really They're pretty. gorgeous. I think they are. Did you finish that other egg? I didn't. I did. I should Take show it. Take a look it. at it tomorrow, or, or you can well, show it Well, I can show it tomorrow. Care. I'll show it tomorrow in case I don't have anything for you tomorrow. <laughs> I never know what I'm going to have from day to day. I haven't even gone out to get my eggs yet either, so I have to do that after I'm done with this video, which I'm all done now. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.